Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This refers to marriage. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please do subscribe and drop a like. It's going to help promote my video to the next level. If you know this video helps you in any way possible, maybe you learn something from it or it inspires you, kindly drop a like and also do subscribe to my channel. Subscription is free, it's not going to cost you a dime. But it's going to help promote my channel. If you want to see me create more useful content, can you please subscribe to it? So I'll be showing you how I achieve this uh, shadow, this optical shadow over here. It's very, very simple and straightforward. And I'm going to show you how I do it right now. So the first thing you need to do, here's the picture we'll be using right now, is to duplicate your picture by clicking on Ctrl G. So this time around now, we want to remove our model from the backdrop. I already have my selection. If you don't have yours, just go to your quick selection or your polygonal axis to select your model. Just make sure you remove your model from the background. So my, I already have my selection. I've saved it. All I have to do is load my selection. So I'm going to load it. So here is my selection right now. What I'll be doing right now, just click on my max. As you can see, I have my model without the background. So I'll open it back right now. So I'll still click on my background layer again. This time around, I'll click on my clicker marker too, which is this one. Then I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to make the circle around this way, whatever location I want it to be. Once I'm done, I will remove my hand on it. Then I'll drag it to whatever location I want it to be. After I do that, I'll just have to click on Ctrl J. So if I'm to turn off my upper and lower layer right now, you can see we have our optical shadow over here. So we can turn it back on right now. So now click on it, click on the center one, which is our optical shadow layer. Right click on it, then go to, go to your blending option. So wait for it to load up. It's going to load up for you around this way. So under it right now, go to your shadow drop, click on it. As you can see, it's reflecting a little bit. So you can just increase the opacity. It is giving you what you need right now. As you can see, it's very, very simple. If it's a little bit not okay for you, you can increase the distance. So I think around around this way is okay. So that's just it's very very simple and straightforward. And if you don't want it around this way, you want it to the, the other direction also. You can just actually twist the angle around this way. As you can see, you can twist the angle to whatever location you want it to be. So very very easy and straightforward. So once you're done, you click on your OK, and you've actually achieved that in no time before and after. Very very simple and straightforward. I hope this video helps you in a way or two. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're also interested in getting all my picture editing files from my overlay down to my PNG, my lot, my preset, they are all available for sale in my store. Kindly go there and make purchase today. See you guys on my next tutorial. One love. So in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup, which is my lot file. So you just have to scroll down to your video. So under the comment, this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you. you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files I want. The site I use in downloading all my files free of charge, including my Photoshop panels also. This includes my PNG files. This includes all my packs, all my picture editing files, my premium overlay, my PNG, my flying fabrics, my color lookup, my presets. So once you buy this, you've already bought everything apart from this one. So here is my flying fabrics. Here is my, in case you want to give me any project for me to work on. Here is my color lookup, here is my background overlay, and here is my preset file. So in case you are interested in buying anyone, you can actually go for them. The good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency, any currency of your choice. You can buy with any currency of your choice. So 